Hey everybody, it's Gudu. Welcome back to part seven of uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So last time we went to uh, the asylum where they were, uh, where Stark's uh, creepy ass soothing syrup was being supplied to, and uh, we got rid of the doctor who's behind it. And now, uh, yeah, I don't know why it's giving us the option to do sequence eight. Maybe there's some side stuff I did earlier on that might have unlocked it. I don't know if that's the same thing for you guys, if you're playing it as well. Um, but uh, we're going to jump right on to uh, sequence five. So. Really wasn't enough. Now Starrick has got an omnibus company as well. I suppose he wants to control the neighborhood's workers and keep them under his thumb. Pearl Attaway is Starrick's competitor, is she? Perhaps it's time I went into business. And Miss Fry. What are your plans? I studied the history we recovered from the Kenway Mansion's hidden room. I'm off to a certain monument. Alright, so first things first... Get rid of all the income. 2,000, alright. Stalk the stalker. Hmm. That sounds slightly disturbing. Tell you what, do your rounds as usual. If he appears, I'll keep an eye on him. When we return, put him into the train. Aye, alright. Oh, hey, all right, let's kidnap some people. Time to go meet this creep. Na, 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 na. Agnes, take care. There's a gang out looking for you. Ugh, not at all. Just one bleak little laddie following me. You certain? Certain as can be. He is the rascal. This creepy fuck. You damn pillock. Uh, sorry, but that woman's from an important gang. Gang? What gang's that? I think it's in a train. Sounds like the bastards will be okay now. Alert the lads on the rooftops. We'll take her out. Oh, that idiot. <laughs> Must get to the station before Agnes does. People are planning an assassination. I think they know. They must know that she's like affiliated with the assassins. Looks like uh, a lot of people. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Nigel, Nigel Bumble. Why were you following us? I, I want to join your gang. Ah, oh, for Christ's sake, he knows who we are now. <laughs> All right, laddie. I can use you to tidy up the train a bit, if you didn't mind getting dirty. Really? Terrific! Uh, well, you won't regret it, miss. Be romancing Henry with your piano playing, have you? Don't strike a false note. I'm guessing that's uh, side stuff. Wait, what? We know nobody's running the evidence against him. What the fuck did he do this time? All right, uh, I'm gonna ignore that for the time being. We're actually gonna do some missions first. So that's our main priority at the moment. I'm gonna fast travel up here, actually, and make my way down. Yes, please and thank you. Okay, finally, over here. I thought when I got here, it was Edward's house again, but uh, it's in an entirely different... Oh, what's this? Maybe a little bit after Jacob's assassinated doctor. She looks like she's crying. Yeah, I thought that was, that was uh, <laughs> Edward's house, but uh, I realized it was in a different district, so I don't know whose fancy ass house this is. Miss Fry, what a pleasant surprise. Hello, Clara. I was just going to check on Lambeth since the asylum's closing. What brings you here? The children in my care have been falling ill. The usual tonics aren't working. The cane, too. <laughs> Are you certain you're feeling all right? Of course. I am, Miss. Clara! Is there a doctor nearby? Bring her inside. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> She simply collapsed. Yes, she said the others took tonic, but it didn't work. I should think not. Ever since Elliotson was murdered, the district has been overrun with counterfeit tonics. Oh, fun. This one needs proper care. But without the appropriate medication, she and the others will quickly decline. What do you need? I need supplies. Plenty of them. And medicine. Some of the less common ingredients are being stolen and sold at auction. I'd be happy to help. By killing! <laughs> Here's the list. Miss Fry. Evie Fry. I'm Miss Nightingale. How do you do? Please hurry. We don't have much time. Move, walk. Have a look after our, uh, our little kids over here. Let's see. Oh, that's some distance away, too. Good lord. Okay, do not kill the peddler. Alright, so I just gotta steal and that's about it. First things first. Get rid of these two. Carriage. Fair enough. Problem solved. Alright, now I've got to make this back in time. Slow down. We're back. 
And not a moment too soon. I hope you brought the medication I requested. How is she? She will recover. Captain Manelli, the children. Thanks to you, we can distribute authentic medicine now. But is that a permanent solution? I will petition to have regulations put in place. Lambert is in your debt. It takes a long time to change things. But I'm not going anywhere, Miss Fry. Problem solved. All right. Going to be next. I'm gonna do this bounty hunt right now since Lambeth is almost free. There's only two more sections to it, so might as well get it done with. Why would you walk to me? I don't understand. Hey! What are you doing? What did you see? Quiet now. Hush. I'm just gonna knock you out. Don't apprehend me. It's your case while that I'm following up on, Miss Graves. I hear her sister is the real menace. Sequence five, breaking news. Ah! Oh, Jacob, Evie, it's you. Thank goodness. Experimenting, are we, Alec? Correct. And looking a bit frazzled. Nerves. It's those great oafs Static keeps sending around to coax me. He is offering a ridiculous amount of money. Alec, you're not thinking of jumping ship, are you? Never. I've been working in something, in case they get too insistent. Uh, it's meant to stun an assailant, should they need a rise. Are you certain that it works? Uh, not as such. I I've made three of them with varying degrees of acidity and whatnot. But one must be the right formula. Let's find some steric lackeys to target then, shall we? Speaking <laughs> of steric, he's still transmitting false information. We could simply destroy his transmitters. And his company's too well guarded. The bombs will help, but it would be awkward to produce bombs that potentially do not stun. Oh, wait a minute. It looks like opportunity has come knocking. Oh dear, you never looked so angry before. Stand clear, Alec. Let us instead play a little linguistic game with them. Um, take the bombs and climb onto the roof. Uh, when I say the name of uh, a fruit, Toss one near the thugs. Right then. Oh, uh, <laughs> All oh, right. Wait, uh, I nearly forgot. Um, slip these into your boots, and you will henceforth be immune to all voltaic discharge. I think. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> He's so excited now just to try it out. My God, the mind. Of an inventor. <laughs> well, then. That escalated very quickly. <laughs> Give you a bleeding clapper. Well, bless my boots. You're as purple as. 
I'm glad I could help. Now it's time to shut down Stark's empire of propaganda. Public toilet without a penny? Come on, you can get out. <laughs> People coming in, yep. see where they're coming from and go run towards them rather than have them come to you. Smarter tactic. My dears, Jacob, Evie, thanks are once again in order for supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause, freedom of speech. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. But no need. Not now you've given me sacks full of courage, and besides, what with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do a drop by. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> all right, folks, I'm gonna end uh, part seven right here. Uh, Finally got a uh, super cool gadget. Where is this guy? Frigging this electrocutioner shenanigans thing. Um, now we can just make people have mad diarrhea and throw up. I mean, what better way to torture people, right? The greatest thing in the world. <laughs> if you guys liked the episode, you know, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you all in part eight. Keep on gaming, folks. See you then.